Hey, how you doing, guys? A quick video looking at Merv's trades. 4% down today, which isn't great, so let's go and have a look. Um, <clears throat> share screen. Here we go. Share screen two. Right, so if we work backwards, Merv's MT4 is two hours ahead. So unfortunately, I can't see the whole time, but I know that's like 10.40 something. So we've got uh, Euro USD 10 or whatever and it's a radar radar trade that's really 840 something for me so let's go euro usd let's put channel radar on uh, can hide that don't need that right so um we go and we look at 840 So 840 something. I'm assuming it was a wave up. A uh, high Kanashi candle wave up. So let's uh let's just confirm that to make sure I'm on it. Yeah, your EUR USD for a buy. So let's have a look. So um 840. So it looks like number one, it looks like Channel Raid is doing its job. Let's just put it on replay, make sure that the wave did break below. The wave did break below, look, okay? So the wave broke below there. So it's gonna start looking for a buy. And it gets a wave up here, right? So we're in. So it would get you in, okay? on a long position, right? So it should get you in at the bottom of that candle. Uh, now I have a four pip stop loss, okay? And then that goes up to 2%. So let's just look at Merv's stop loss. It hit stop loss at 1.07911. Sorry, I'll take profit. So that's 1.07803. And entry was 107834. So that's what should happen, I think, depending on brokers and things like that. So a horizontal rate, if I put that at entry 107834, entry's a bit up there, not too bad though. Okay, I can live with that. Okay, let's make that a different color. And then stop loss was 107803. 107803. So Merv stop loss is there. I want that red for stop. Okay. And if I go and measure that, we have a three pip stop loss. Merv, put your stop loss to four pips. <laughs> right. So now, now let's see what happens. I think my price just goes sideways. We get into nine o'clock UK time. I can tell you guys, nine o'clock UK time, the price will usually um, consolidate, right? Not not always. Sometimes you see some great moves, but often it will just consolidate, 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 as you're seeing. You know, and we're coming up to present time now. Right, so let's just have a look. So on my four pip stop loss, right? I would have just hit my 2%. And if I put that down there, we don't hit stop loss. So Merv go for four pips on channel radar. And that might be that might be all the difference you need. All right. If I put that there, okay, uh, with four pips, actually you still you still might have struck out and it didn't hit the two percent there. However, let's look at another one. Um but that's the first thing anyway, four pips. Um, that was a small win, so I'll ignore that one. Let's go back to Euro USD 1030 something, okay, for a buy again. Okay, well, that seems a bit so that'd be 830. Uh, interesting for a buy. Okay. 30 something for a buy one <clears throat> 107 
107810 stop loss. So that was 1040. So as you can see at 830. Okay, so I don't actually have a wave up. Now, so what I think is happening there is if I go into my smooth Taikinashi settings, right, it's it's set to 13, which is right. So Merv, or I would say, if you go to your, um, if you go to your channel radar. In fact, let's look at it. Let's look at it on here. Turn off that stupid auto scroll. Um, if we go and look at it over here. Twenty third, so two hours. Okay, well that's wrong. That time's wrong. Oh no, it's not. Okay, so um, ten. Yeah, sorry, I'm getting confused. So about ten thirty. I'm guessing you got that. Interesting, which isn't on my trading view, but it is there. So again, that is unfortunately valid. Now look, this this has come up a couple of times with these little things that we may have a solution. We may have a solution, right? One, if you had the entry filter on, you'd have been safe anyway. Um, and I can't back test on MT5 to see where the channel was. Like you saw it on ch channel radio, it was different. However, something you can look at, guys, and I, I don't know how well it will work, but if you go to your settings and you come down to the short, wave short settings there, um, if, you, if you increase that maybe to like 25, well, you could do 31. I mean, if I put that to 31, and we look, you look there, back at 10.30. 10.30 MT5 time, that is. Again, that's the stupid auto scroll. You can see you don't, oh no, oh, oh, it's because I've got two of these on, hang on. Also guys, make sure you've only got one one of each indicator on. That's that's me not adding a new chart like I advise. So that one can go, properties. Well, actually it is a good example. It is a good example because you can see that little one wave up, okay, it's still there, but it's not there on the 31 setting, right? So you can increase that to make it less sensitive, but it smooths out the up and downs. So that's something you could look at as well, Merv, maybe just increase that. Okay, well, all of you, all right, all of you. So, but definitely it looks like you need another pip on your stop loss on channel radar. I use four on Euro USD. Right, so this isn't a long rambling video. Uh, let me look back on here. And let's do another pair. So let's look at what about what about GBP USD? GBP. USD 950 something, 950. Uh, so that's really 750 something. That's really 750 something for a buy. Uh, 1 1.29744, 1.29689. 1 1.29744, 1.29689. Okay, let's go and have a look. USD. So you got in at seven fifty something. And again, that's the issue. Though. If I go in replay mode. Seven fifty something. We're going to replay mode. 
Back to the channel. So we looks like we're going to break out the bottom of the channel. Yeah, we break out the bottom of the channel. So we're looking for a buy. It was a nice move down. Why didn't you get the wave down? That session probably. All right. Well, you should have got you should have got that sell by the looks of it. So my wave up doesn't come to over here. If it got you in there. If I go back to the Hakanashi settings, oh, I am on 13. Look at it on trading view. Let's look at it on trading view in a minute. But you got in, you got in 129744. 129744. That was your entry. Your X, your stop loss was 129689. Which is there, which doesn't save you. Oh, that seems more like it. Yeah, six pips, maybe five or six. Okay, so so that one's right. The problem then, the problem then is the setting on the wave. Let's look at it on MT5, GBP USD. So that's 950 something we said, isn't it? Tell you what, this auto scroll needs shooting. All right, so 9.50 is real. Yeah, 9.50 on MT5. That one there, GBP USD. So 9.50 something. Nine fifty something for a buy. Is it the same thing that there's one little rogue? There's one little rogue wave up candle, right? But on the higher setting, there isn't. So I think Merv, I would suggest changing your setting. And maybe for everybody if you're struggling, right? I'll talk about it on the live today and one at two o'clock UK. But maybe if you're struggling, right, you need to, we need to look at maybe changing that wave short settings there. Even, even to like 25. Don't push it So here's 950 something, and with that setting, look, I've got three on there. That that doesn't put it on either. So that is maybe something for you to try, Merv. Right, I've got to go because I'm late to something. All right. But hopefully, well, not just Merv, all of us, right? All of us can learn from that. All right. Catch you later.